It's the NFL on EA Sports, and we've got the latest chapter of a historic rivalry. It's the Dallas Cowboys and the New York Giants, next on Madden NFL 25. Greetings from just across the New York, New Jersey border in New Jersey at MetLife Stadium here in East Rutherford. Set for a good matchup in one of the premier divisions in the NFL. Mike Tirico, Greg Oates, and with you, Greg, you never get a chance to really rebuild. Everyone wants you to win right now in this division. And they've been taking turns at the top of the division. 19 years since the Eagles repeated as division champ. Dallas won it last year. Who knows what we're in store for this season? Yeah, it just shows how hard it is to win year in and year out consistently in the NFL. The league is set up for parity. It's set up for teams that were last in the division. They have just as good a shot to win it the next year. And I think this is a two-horse race. With Dallas, as you said, they won it last year. I think Philadelphia feels that this roster, this coaching staff coming back, has them in position to challenge Dallas. I think right now New York and Washington find themselves on the bottom looking up, but I think the Eagles and the Cowboys, this could come all the way down to the end of the season. Cowboys coming out. As usual, it's Dak Prescott leading the way. Led the NFL in touchdown passes, Greg, a season ago. Already his ninth year at the helm for the Cowboys. There's just certain guys, Mike, when they take the field and they step into the huddle, the other 10 players, they just take a little bit of a deeper breath. They're like, man, I'm glad this guy is on our side, and he's certainly one of them. He just brings an element of confidence to everybody else around him, not only in the huddle, but on the sideline, on the defense, the coaching staff. Everyone is better as the result of him being your quarterback. He'll come up on a second down and eight. Now, Prescott, this pass right side, taken in by Cooks. And they get this one across midfield to the 47-yard line. 18 yards on the pickup there. That's good for a Dallas first down. These are the chunk plays they thought they could get here against this pass defense. They thought the passing game favored their offense in this matchup, and I think we can expect this to be the case the rest of the game. They'll come up here first and ten. A shotgun snap for Prescott. He'll let this go deep for Tobin. That is not the way. Incomplete. Good coverage there defensively all over him. And it'll be second down. I can sit up here all day, Mike, and we can talk about the missed throw. But I think a lot of the credit has to go to the pass defense. Not only did they do a good job making it difficult for them to complete the pass, but I think they saved the touchdown along the way. Now, man, back for a second go around with the Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott. Very positive returns on that run. I mean, really, the only thing not to like is that they weren't able to move the chains. You know what? The way he ran there, I think they go right back to him and see if he has even a bigger carry in. Here's third down and a few inches. Throwing is Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. And on that third down, they thought an easy way to pick it up and get some positive yards would go to their quick game, but it didn't seem like the receiver and the quarterback were on the same page, and now brings up fourth down. They'll give it to Elliott, and he's not going to get there. The defense was ready for it, and they stuff him on fourth down. So the offense found themselves in a little bit of no man's land. They were too far for a field goal attempt, but too close to attempt to punt. So they decided to be aggressive early and go for it on fourth down. But it was the defense that turned them away with a huge stop to start this game. They'll come up first and 10 at the 40. 
in motion, it's Robinson. They show jet sweep and instead run it up the middle. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. Shotgun now for Jones. That's going to be caught by Darius Slayton. And they'll have it across midfield down at the opposing 46-yard line. A pickup of 12 yards. That's good for a Giants first down. A gift to Singletary on the zone read. And he'll get this down inside the 40-yard line. A gain of seven yards. Here's second and three to go. From the gun, it's Jones. He's got his man, that's Slayton. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. Second time they've hooked up on this drive. This one good for 12 and a first down. From the gut, it's a give to Singletary. And he'll twist his way to a good run. A pickup of seven yards. This just shows why you can't count on just one guy to take him down. He's a powerful enough runner. You gotta have guys coming in support when that first hit is made. It takes a team effort to stop him, especially once he gets going. Working from the gun, it's Jones. And they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up the first down after a gain of seven. Offensively landing a lot of body blows on this drive, Mike. Just the ability to steadily march the ball downfield and remain so efficient, both run and pass. As they continue to wear this defense out, they have to find a way to end this drive with points. Anything short of that would be a bit of a letdown. And he's brought down after a gain of a couple. Jones. But he tried to fit in the slant and it was intercepted. And the Cowboys are going to take over here on the INT at their own five yard line. I'm not going to sit here, Mike, and say there's ever a good time to throw a red zone interception. But in this case, it's the first half. You have the rest of the game to get yourself back down here in the red zone and make up for that miscue because next time they get down here, they got to be a lot more careful when they decide to air it out. The Cowboys offense ready to get going with their second possession. And they're going to hear it from this crowd. They're backed up deep as they start first and ten. The drive starts with a run, and it's Elliott. And he's going to get this up to the 22-yard line. They'll gain 17 on that one. A very quick first down. And a nice pickup there by the back with an explosive run play. And it's important to point out, Mike, this offensive play caller, he's still working off that opening script. It doesn't necessarily have to just be the first possession. Using formations, using run game and pass. Unmask the defense and understand where to take the play calling as the game unfolds. Here's a second and three forthcoming. They'll run it here with Zeke. And he's up past the 35. He's got a first down. Put him down at the 37. Now going to get a stoppage. Injured player. Oh, it's C.D. Lamb who is shaken up. So as they look at the injured player, 
will take a timeout. Ball rests at the 37. It's first and 10. From the shotgun, it's Dak. He'll find his tight end. That's Jake Ferguson. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. And this is where the versatility of the tight end position really starts coming into play. Not only do they have to line up with their hand on the ground in line, but they can occasionally split out in the slot. And man, they're too fast for linebackers, and a lot of times, they're too big for defensive backs. Room to run inside the 40. And he's going to be brought down, but not until he gets inside the 35. A game there of 21. First down, Cowboys. We had a feeling coming into the game that they were going to get this guy plenty of touches. And you can see from this early success why. The defense is going to have to make some adjustments here because they have had no answers thus far. Here's first and ten. Operating from the gun, here's Dak. He's going to keep it himself. A gain of 26, and it sets up first and goal. What I like the most here is just the decision that when he wants to be a runner, he commits to being a runner, and he's able to weave his way downfield pick up the first down, sets up first and goal. A couple of big plays, one after the other, and now it's first and goal. Here's a run to the five-yard line. Second and goal. Prescott. And that is incomplete. But now a penalty flag comes in late. He might have been caught with his hands in the cookie jar. So that pass interference in the end zone puts the pressure on the defense. It is first and goal from the one. And he'll just get up inside those big bodies up front. And he's in. Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown, Dallas. A lot of big bodies down there. But at the end of the day, the one that mattered, the one with the ball, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight. And he's thinking, I'm going to run into it and just hope I come out the other side. And in this case, the other side's the end zone, and they get six. Aubrey, good with the extra point. And the Cowboys will take a 7-0 lead. Nothing is our score as this kick is sent into the air. Isaiah McKenzie now to return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Giants offense ready for their second possession. They trail here by a touchdown as this drive will start with a first down. Throwing Jones. He'll get it into the hands of Slayton. And he'll get about eight on that one. Most of it coming after the catch. It's second down. Following the completion, we'll get a stoppage here for an injured player. And as the medical staff looks him over, we'll step aside.
They'll come to the line now on second and two. On second down, it's Singletary. And he'll be tackled up around the 45-yard line. A gain there of 10 yards. First down, Giants. Second and short. Normally, this is a great time, Mike, to put the ball in the air and try to press the ball downfield. But in this case, they keep it on the ground. Has a similar effect. They pick up a good gain and a first down. That's to the rookie from LSU, Malik Neighbors. And good yardage there after the catch. They'll wind up with a gain of seven on first down. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. Nice job by the defense. They had that one well read from the beginning, Mike. Someone's responsible for the running back, but the key here was the defender responsible for the quarterback. Stays with him, keeps him to a short game. Now a third and two. To throw, it's Jones. Nice job here by the defense. Did a good job just covering up everything for the most part. So once this ball was caught, really didn't have much of a choice but to just head out of bounds and pick up a modest game. On uh, fourth down, here comes the lefty punter, Jamie Gillen. Cavante Turpin to return for the Cowboys. This one angles out of bounds, and the mark comes inside the 15-yard line. So now here are the Cowboys. Their offense ready to make their way back onto the field. This will start from the 12, trying to put a drive together here. It's first and 10. That going to work it to Lamb on the RPO. It's a gain of 16, and very quickly, a first down. And it doesn't really matter who you put on him, Mike. When you want to play one-on-one -on -one man coverage against a receiver like this, there's not a whole lot else you can do. It's hard to put help over the top because the ball's being thrown out by the sidelines. I like playing in and out. I like playing zone. Somebody underneath, somebody over the top. Share the responsibility. But that's not what they're doing. That's straight man coverage. Quarterback sees the matchup. There's no question where the ball is going to go. Here's second and nine. Now Prescott. The open man is Tobin. And he's going to get this one out to the 43-yard line. Give him 14 on that one. That's good for a Dallas first down. Every once in a while, it just comes down to you need somebody in the huddle to just make a play. And it wasn't a whole lot fancy here. The quarterback just dumps the ball down, a quick underneath completion. And then really, it's the yards after catch that did the rest. And that's what it takes. You're not always going to have the perfect play. You're not always going to dial up the perfect play against the perfect look. Sometimes players need to make plays, and that was a good one there. First and ten. On the give, it's Elliott. The hole closes quickly. He'll pick up about three. Second and seven. Again, here's Zeke. And he'll take this ahead for a gain of about five. And here comes third down. Play fake. Prescott. And that is incomplete. 
He was looking for Brandon Cooks with that pass. And now it's fourth down. Pretty clear coming into this game that this offense felt that they had a distinct advantage running the ball. It was a matchup that they thought all week went in their favor, and so far the results indicate that they were spot on. And we will not have a return here. This one angled out of bounds. Here's the Giants offense. Now they get set to take over once more. This will begin at their own 13-yard line. So work to do starting with this first and 10. Back to throw is Jones. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. I think he just rushed that decision just a little bit downfield. I mean, it's one thing to trust your guy to make a play in tight coverage. We see quarterbacks do that all the time. But I think if he was a little bit more patient in his progression, there was an easier throw out there that wouldn't make him have to throw such a tight window ball and put his receiver in a tight spot. Open man is Robinson. And he'll be stopped short of the first down. He's able to look it in and get forward for a pickup of about eight. Jones looking to throw on third and two. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. These are the type of plays that drive a coach crazy in the film room, and you have to learn as a quarterback to avoid. You can take some chances. You can push the ball downfield, but not only to pick up a couple yards. You got to pick your chances of when you want to be aggressive, and you got to make sure you make better decisions going forward. After the catch, he gets that forward for a gain of nine. These are the play calls, Mike, that offensive coordinators use to just get their quarterback and their passing game into some sort of rhythm. Easy pitch and catch, get the ball out of his hand, see a completion. These typically, as the game goes on, lead to bigger and bigger gains. They'll run straight ahead with Singletary. And I don't think he got there with that one. Only needed a yard, wrapped up at the line of scrimmage. And now we're looking at third down. Great job here defensively, Mike. Make them snap the ball again. Second and one, they're not conceding anything. Make it third and one and see if your defense can come up again with a stop for no game. Jones keeping this one. And he will have a Giants first down by about a yard. So they pick it up on third and two. Sometimes, Mike, the best plan is also the simplest plan. And for this team, just snap the ball to your quarterback let him find some daylight and go get that first down himself. On first and ten, here's Jones. Quick throw here is complete. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. the middle. Here's Singletary. He'll work forward for a couple. The veteran Eric Hendricks on the stop. They'll come up to third and three. Here's Jones to throw. He's not going to get away. They track him down. If you're going to take a sack, you just can't add to it by taking such a massive loss on top of it. Understand when the pocket breaks down, move up, cut your losses. Now, not only do you lose that down, but now you face a big uphill battle if you want to extend this drive. Here's Jamie Gillen on now. And he'll be looking for something a little better than that first effort, which he shanked. 
To return, it is Turpin. Oh, how about that hit? Wow! He took a pretty good lick at the end of that one. The Cowboys offense and veteran Ezekiel Elliott making their way back out. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and 10. Now Prescott going to make the read and keep it himself. And he'll get about three on that one. It'll be second down. They went to the design quarterback run and there just wasn't a lot of space for the quarterback to operate. You can see him kind of waiting for some of the blocks to develop. Never transpired. Didn't get a whole lot going. Short game. Cooks going in motion. Here comes the jet sweep. And he's going to be taken down on the other side of the 50-yard line. They get an even 20 on that one. First down, Cowboys. The play action. It's Prescott. Ah, oh, the pressure. Too much. And he goes down. The offense goes from feeling really good about the previous play with a real nice pickup to then on the ensuing play ending up going the complete opposite direction. Really nice job here by the defense immediately getting back on track. What do the coaches say? Just play the next play. And that's exactly what they did. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. To throw is Dak. A quick slash taken by a lamp. It may not have moved the chains, but with what they were dealing with there on second down, that's a really nice pickup because now it opens up your play call sheet on third down where it's a little bit more manageable. Prescott on third and two. He's got his tight end. That's Ferguson. It'll be a pickup of 10. That's good for a Dallas first down. So far here early, Mike, the key for this offense has been their ability to maintain possession by converting on these third downs. It's going to be a big storyline the rest of the way. This defense has to find a way. When they force third down, they got to get off the field. On the play fake. Dak. A very quick throw there, but not on the same page with his target. That's incomplete. Throughout this entire game, we've really seen this quarterback operate very efficiently, not only being able to spread the ball to multiple playmakers, Mike, but really complete a high percentage of his passes. So can't let that last incomplete break what's been a really nice rhythm so far. Prescott again. Quickly to the outside and complete. Certainly not the biggest play of the day, but a good example of picking up positive yardage, staying ahead of the chains by a well-timed ball and a well-timed route. Third and short. Prescott. He'll look middle and he's got his man complete. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Nice pickup here to the back. And what really stands out about this drive is the ability of the quarterback to really spread the ball around to multiple targets and put so much pressure on the defense, deciding who do they want to account for because no matter who they try to take away, the quarterback's doing a nice job of finding the open man. Catch is made. That is Schoonmaker. And the Cowboys are going to be set up. First and goal. He's out of bounds at the six-yard line. It'll be a gain of 10 and just enough to move the chains. This drive has been methodical, but 
Will they turn it into six points? It is first and goal. And he will score. Ezekiel Elliott. Touchdown, Cowboys. He's got another one. His second touchdown of the evening. What a standout performance early on in this one. That his second rushing touchdown of the game. And some backs, Mike, they just have a sense of finding the end zone and being able to finish off these runs. That's exactly what this guy has been able to do today. And we're just getting started. The extra point by Aubrey is good. And the Cowboys move out on top 14 to nothing. Both teams ready to go once more as the kicks away. On the return, it's McKenzie. And he is stopped at the 25. The drive will begin there. The Giants offense ready to take over once again. They're staring at a two-touchdown deficit. 14-0 the score as the offense tries to regroup and get going with first and 10. The drive starts with a carry by Singletary. And this will be a Giants first down as he's able to get it to the 37-yard line. Well, a really nice start here to the drive. Early down success. Every offensive coordinator is trying to find ways. How do we pick up first downs without having to get to third down? We see it here. Big explosive run. Now the rest of the drive unfolds. We'll go back to Singletary on first down. And they're going to get him down this time. Not as easy as the last carry. This time they drop him behind the line of scrimmage. Second down. Well, as been the case this entire first half, it's been the defense that's really carried the load for this team. Some offensive struggles, but they've done more than their part coming through again with another big stop for a loss. From the gun, it's Jones. He's going to run it. Two minutes remain here in this first half. We'll come back to MetLife Stadium after this. We're going to try to pick this up on third and eight. Shotgun now for Jones. That'll be caught by the running back, Singletary. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. Once again, Jamie Gillen out to punt as he's on to punt for the Giants. And no return forthcoming. It's a touchback and will come out to the 20-yard line. Set to go now on first and 10. A shotgun snap for Prescott. Catch is made there on the left side by Cooks. And he's brought down after a gain of six on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Here's Dak to throw. Oh, and this one's going to wind up incomplete. That's one you'd think he'd be able to corral. But he can't find the handle, and it's going to lead to a third down. A rare miss for a quarterback that we've seen really come out on fire throughout this entire contest. I mean, his completion percentage, Mike, is well above league average, and frankly, it's really the biggest reason why they find themselves out in front. That is caught. Hooks gets the grab. And he'll be brought down, but not before they get this all the way up near midfield. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. Nice job there, getting the ball to your slot receiver and then letting him get to work. It's a nice feeling as a quarterback when you can just have a short throw still result in a big game.
Again, Prescott to the air. Uh, first down throw there is incomplete. Well defended there. The quarterback's trying to attack this defense outside the numbers. Those really wide angle throws near the sideline sometimes can be very hard to defend. So give a lot of credit to this secondary. They were all on the same page, and the ball falls incomplete. To the air again. Prescott. Initially, Mike, a really good job by the defense. Nowhere to go with the ball for this quarterback. He's forced to pull it down and turn into a runner. A little slow reaction, and he's able to actually pick up a pretty good game. Prescott from the gun on third down. Got a man. That's Tolbert. That's a timeout for Dallas. It's their second as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in the opening half. Gonna throw it here on first down. This one caught by C.D. Lamb. And they'll get about half of what they needed. It's a pickup of five and sets up second and five. And with just four seconds left in the first half, a timeout is called. for the field goal now it's Brandon Aubrey this one from 43 yards away Aubrey's kick is good and the Cowboys gonna tack on three more extending the lead here late in the first half and that's a really nice boost here before the break I mean you work the clock well you're able to steal some points the biggest thing is you're able to build a little momentum now going into the locker room at halftime This one is fielded in the end zone, but he will not bring it out. It's a touchback, and this drive will begin at the 30-yard line. Taking the deep shot here with Robinson. That's going to be incomplete. They took a shot on the final play. Prayer not answered, and that is how this first half will come to an end. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. We saw the vet with plenty left, Ezekiel Elliott, putting together a strong first half. He had a nose for the end zone as he wound up with two touchdowns on the ground in those first two quarters. All right, Coach, thank you very much. We welcome you back. It is quarter number three. Very one-sided first half of action. Will we get a turnaround? Let's find out. The third quarter is underway. Nice job by the return team as he takes it across the 30-yard line. The Giants offense going to have a first crack at it as we begin this third quarter. They trail this one 17 to nothing now. Really need to find some inspiration, some momentum on this drive as they'll begin here with first down. That one never got started. Too much defensive pressure. They drop him in the backfield. Well, they try to get the run game started here early on this drive, Mike, and they're just going to have to do a better job up front. There's really nowhere for this ball carrier to go. You never want to lose yards on first down, but that's exactly the case here. Working from the gun, it's Jones. They'll get about eight out of that one, but still a little work to do now on third down. There's a lot of ways to get the ball in the hands of your running backs, and it's not always by just handing it to them. In this case, it's a simple check down, picks up a good gain, brings up third down. Third and five. To throw, it's Jones. And this is going to be incomplete. That is a letdown there. Pass looked to be on target. No catch. 
and now fourth down. It's rare to see an offense that finds themselves trailing and say, well, their quarterback's been actually one of their biggest bright spots. Usually that doesn't go hand in hand, so it's a little surprising to see him miss a throw like that on a day where he's completed passes at a highly efficient rate. A fair catch signaled, and they'll have it just outside their own 20. The Cowboys offense and their running back set to go once more. Operating from their own 23, they'll begin first and 10. To start this on the ground with Elliott. Fighting off tackles, pushing his way forward. Good gain of about four. Here's a second and six. Operating from the gun, here's Dak. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. Third and six. From the shotgun, it's Dak. That's over the middle and taken in. He's got it. They get 10 yards on the hook up there. First down, Cowboys. Mike, think back to our conversation during the break. We've kind of both asked ourselves, are they content with this double-digit lead? Do they come out and play conservative here in the second half? Well, it took exactly one play to get our answer. They continue to get chunk plays like this. This thing could get out of reach fast. A first down throw for Prescott. Oh, a short throw there, but it's going to end up incomplete. That's a pass you say he should have had. Instead, he does not, and it brings up second down. So the receiver does everything right, except for the most important part. He runs a nice route, great, great separation downfield, but now you just got to finish that thing off with a catch. Hand off here to Zeke. He'll manage only about three, so it will bring up third down. Contact up front. Did they get one of the defenders to jump? Now, on third and two, they'll try and throw for it. It's a gain of 10 yards. That's good for a Dallas first down. You can see this connection is just starting really to pick up. They're seeing the game through the same set of eyes, and that is the job of the receiver. What is my quarterback expecting from me? Where does he want me? Be there on time, and it leads to big games like this. It's a first down run with Elliott. And this defense not allowing much there. They'll stop him at the 45. On play action, here's Dak. Little short pass here, caught by his tight end. This is a great example of why teams want to stay out of what they call passing downs, where a defense doesn't have to honor the run. In this case, they do, and man, the play-action pass just works off of that and can really lead to some chunk plays. They'll run Zeke up the middle. He's going nowhere. That call, not the right one. It's going to bring up fourth down. And what a play by the interior of this defensive line. There was nowhere to run. He's able to get in the backfield for a big stop, and it sets up fourth down. 
On for the field goal now, it's Brandon Aubrey. This one from 54 yards out. And this is no good. Could not get it on target. And they are not able to add on to their big lead. And this is the danger of trying these long field goals. Remember, Mike, if you miss, the other team gets the ball at the spot of the kick. So it's going to end up setting them up for great field position as they start this next drive. So they come to the line for first down and 10. On play action, it's Jones. Now he'll run it. Can't beat those legs. 13-yard pickup. A scramble leads to a first down. You know, Mike, I like everything about this play except the very end. You've already picked up good yardage. You've already picked up the first down. Now get down on the ground and protect yourself. There's no reason to take those shots. On first down, Jones. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. You can't fault the quarterback on this one, Mike. He really didn't even have much of an opportunity. By the time he hit the top of his drop and got his eyes downfield, the defense was all over him, and he really had no choice but to just get that ball out of his hand and live to play another snap. Now Singletary. And nothing doing on that one. He'll go down behind the line. Great job by that linebacker timing his blitz. He didn't give any indication to the offense that he was coming, and he's able to get through that hole and take the ball carrier down for a loss. Third and long. Throwing Jones. He's got a man. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down right at the 25-yard line. That's well done as they get the conversion on third and 13. Whatever they've talked about in the locker room at the halftime break seems to have worked. They've come out with a new established energy. You could see it when they took the field. Now this offense seems to be building on it because with that chunk play, just a little bit of rhythm that they can build off of. They got a long way to go to get back into this game, but so far off to a good start. Jones now on first down. To the outside, complete to Johnson. This pitch and catch may have looked routine, but I promise you, Mike, these types of anticipatory throws, especially outside the numbers, they don't occur without countless reps, oftentimes when nobody's even watching. Second and a yard. Now Jones. Toward the middle of the field that time, but incomplete. There was no hesitation from the quarterback. From the jump, he knew where he wanted to go with that ball, but still leads to an incompletion. They're just still not quite on the same page. They'll look to pick this up third and a yard. Jones to the air again. Oh, and that throw not able to be pulled in. It's incomplete. Looked like he may have got a little ahead of himself there. And it's going to bring up fourth down. Well, we sit up here all the time and we try to break down why certain plays work or don't work. Well, this one's not real tricky. I mean, he just simply needs to catch the ball. I mean, that close to the first down chain, if he just catches that ball and turns up field, they extend this drive. He's got to come over to the sideline, take a deep breath, tell his guys, hey, man, that's on me. And he's got to go out and make that next play because his team's going to need him to play better as the rest of this game continues. Little test of wills up front, huh, Mike? I mean, who wanted this one more? Who would get off the line quicker? Who would drive the other side backwards? Pretty impressive that not only are they the ones that won the battle, the defense knew what was coming and still couldn't stop. And a nice run there. He'll be stopped just shy of a first down. A pickup of nine. When the offense broke the huddle in a line, Mike, I think everybody in the stadium knew this was going to be a run, but the offense is kind of saying, okay, line up. I dare you to try to stop us, and right now this defense has no answers. A gift to Singletary on the zone read, and that 
big offensive line. Clearing space. He's in. Devin Singletary. Touchdown, Giants. Well, after being shut out in the first half, it has to feel good for this offense, Mike, to just get on the board, get something going. But now the question we have to ask is, there enough time to come all the way back? Yeah, just some belief, right, Greg? Just let's watch these guys on the next few drives. Did that give them a little belief that they can stay in this game? Best way to start with that score. Now it's Graham Gano for the PAT. He knocks it through. And the Giants are back in this one. It's 17 to 7. The kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. He fields it at the 8. And he'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. The Cowboys offense and their running back getting set for this next possession. And as we look at the highlights, you see it's been tough to stop him here today. Couple of touchdowns in this ball game. He has, without a doubt, been the driving force in this offense so far. They'll come up here first and ten. Here's Prescott. Throw well left side, but that's going to be incomplete. He was trying to get it to C.D. Lamb. And it'll lead to a second down. Timing and trust. Critical elements of this quick passing game. If your target and the quarterback are not on the same page, it winds up being an incompletion and a wasted down. Cooks going in motion. Into the hands of Lamb. Well, he's brought down. That pass is going to pick up four and bring up third down. Back to throw is Prescott. Now a screen set up for Elliott. And he'll be stopped short of a first down, and that will necessitate a call to the punt team. It's fourth down. I think there's one of those plays that when the ball carrier watches this back in the film room tomorrow, he's going to be a little frustrated with himself. If he could just have made that one guy miss, he picks up the first down. Instead, he gets brought down short of the sticks, and now they got a fourth down decision to make. Oh, how about the coverage there? Met and dropped before he can get a return go. The Giants offense running back Devin Singletary back on the field. The deficit is at 10, so an important drive forthcoming. Getting started with first and 10. And that's not going to yield a whole lot. Up to about the 28-yard line. Again, it's Singletary. Up the sideline to the 40. And out of bounds he goes, just shy of midfield. They get 21 on that one. That's good for a Giants first down. It's definitely nice to have one of those bruising, punishing backs to kind of help wear down the defense. But I'll tell you what. You can give me a flat-out electric runner like this guy any day of the week. He can turn on those jets, get in that high gear, and he is gone. In motion, it's Robinson. They run on the jet sweep, and this defense having nothing of that. They get him down behind the line. Here's a second and 12. Throwing now is Jones. Oh, trying to set up the screen, but that is going to fall incomplete. 
for the most part, he's been very accurate with the ball. I mean, he's completing over 60% of his passes, but because they haven't been able to get any big explosive plays, continue to push the ball downfield, hasn't really translated on the scoreboard just yet. Throwing is Jones on third down. He'll try to run for it. And with defenders closing in, he says enough is enough and slides to a halt there. A big play and a much needed one as well. 31 yards. You certainly can't fault the secondary here. The coverage was almost too good downfield on third down. The quarterback realized quickly there was nowhere for him to go with the ball, decides to become a runner. He's able to pick up the first down and some. They'll run the toss play with Singletary. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. I'd like to see that running back be a little bit more decisive with his cut, Mike. You can see he was a little hesitant, and once you're late making that decision, you just kind of get strong laterally. Great job there by the defense, and he has no choice but to take that loss. That's complete. It's Malik Neighbors. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. The best quarterbacks, Mike, they have an internal clock in their head. How does my protection match up with the rush and the route concept I'm trying to attack downfield? In this case, he's looking downfield, realizes quickly this ball's got to come out, checks it down to his underneath drag, picks up what he can. So we are through three. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL on EA Sports. On play action, it's Jones. A short one there to Bellinger. And he'll try to get to the marker, but he's going to wind up a yard or two short. We see teams more and more throw the ball short of the sticks on third down, really for two reasons. One, they're confident that they can pick up the first down with yards after the catch. Two, teams' willingness to go for it on fourth down is at an all-time high. And this one right down the middle. It's good. And they are indeed back within one score. And I can tell you firsthand, Mike, when you find yourself trailing in a game, you don't feel very good about coming away with field goals. But in this case, it does get them a little bit closer and cut into this deficit. So the field goal makes it a one-score game here in the fourth quarter as they kick it away. Cavante Turpin on the return. And he's brought down right at the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense and their running back getting ready to go back to work. And really, he has not produced a whole lot of highlights as we thought about coming in that he could be a featured back in this one. Instead, no running lanes, no room to operate, stuck at the line of scrimmage, and generally taking this offense out of its flow. From the 25, they'll go to work first and 10. The drive starts with a run, and it's Elliott. And good blocking up front, paving the way for a gain of eight on the ground. On second down, it's Dak. Give him 11 on the scramble and give them a new set of downs. I love this call, Mike. Second down and short. One of the best downs in football to take a shot. Give credit to the defense. They were ready for it. But a nice job by the quarterback. Realizing there's nothing downfield. Take off. Turn into a runner. Pick up the first down. Here's first and 10. On the give, 
It's Elliott. He'll be taken down after a gain of two. Look him up on a second down and eight. A shotgun snap for Prescott. The open man is Tolbert. And they're going to work this down inside the 45. Call it a gain of 13. That's good for a Dallas first down. Now this is the epitome of a really short throw and a really nice run after catch. And listen, for a quarterback, it all counts the same. You don't always have to throw the ball downfield to generate explosive plays. And these drag routes can be very, very effective. And they'll move this ball way down into the red zone, inside the 20-yard line. A gain there of 24 yards. That's good for a Dallas first down. And really the key to this play was just how fast he was able to get through his progressions. His mind was able to process and go from one to two to three so quickly that he was able to get the ball to the right target on time. And I think so often those two things are different. Being open is one thing. Being open and getting the ball on time, that's what leads to success. And that's what we saw here. On first and 10, Prescott. A short throw caught by Ferguson. And he's not going to get too far tackled after a gain of just a yard. Really well done here by the defense, Mike, executing this zone defense. And they've got to be able to pattern read. You're not just going to drop back to a spot and just play like a robot. Based on what the receivers do off the line, the defenders have different rules of where their zones move to. Well, they had that one done. He's got his big tight end. Luke Schoonmaker. Touchdown, Dallas. Everything you want to do right there, Greg, in the fourth quarter, get the ball with the lead and extend it to a two-score advantage. Yeah, and I think this just might end up being too much to overcome. You said it. Once you get a two-score lead this late in the fourth quarter, there's just not enough possessions to be had to claw yourself back in it. Now, Aubrey for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Cowboys move out to a 24-10 lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, it's McKenzie. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The home team's offense, ready to get back at it. They trail by two touchdowns, so the time is now. Got to get that rally going. It starts with first and ten. They'll run here. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. Where a defender makes his tackles tells you a lot about his abilities. And for an interior defensive lineman, Mike, to make plays on the outside of the formation just speaks to his speed, his effort, his ability to run down the line. And we saw it here, and he takes the back down for a loss. His throw left side taken in by Johnson. Well, let's give some credit to the big boys up front in the trenches. They knew that blitz was coming. They held up just long enough that the quarterback could get that ball out safely and results in a completion. On third down, they'll set up to throw. Now a screen to be set up for single tail. And a good short tackle right there. It stops him a good distance short of the marker. It sets up fourth down. Just a little slow developing on that screenplay there. It was pretty obvious to the entire defense exactly what was going on. Nobody was thinking pass. Nobody was getting back into their drops and just nowhere for that back to go. A fair catch. 
he's going to call it and take it right around his own 30-yard line. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and 10. On the play fake, Dak. And they're going to track him down. He couldn't find a receiver, and down he goes. Really nice start for this defense here early through the first quarter. Two different players each recording a sack. Offensive line's going to have to get together on the sideline with their coach and identify where's the weakness in our protection, how can we get extra bodies and extra attention, because we still got a long way to go in this one. So after the loss on first, here's second and 14. To throw is Prescott. They'll look to set up the screen here. Well, they'll get some of the sack yardage back, but it's still going to leave them with third down. From the shotgun, it's Dak. He'll try and get there on the ground. And that's a great job defensively here on third down. Not only taking away all the options down the field through the air, but when the quarterback decides to turn into a runner himself, they're able to converge and make the play and keep him short of the first down. Cowboys special teams unit heads out for the punt. As they try to play the field position game here, protecting a fourth quarter lead. McKenzie to return. Oh, hello. He is stopped in his tracks on that one. They made sure that return was not going any farther. The home team's offense getting set to get back to work. They'll do so with first and ten. They'll run. And the defense, good job sticking to their rules. They didn't take their eyes off the running back, who gains nothing. The big guys in the middle of the defense, Mike, the defensive tackles. So often they're asked to do the dirty work. Keep the blockers off the linebackers. Let them run around and make all the plays. But in this case, this guy's able to shed his blocker, make the stop, and keep it to no gain. Jones to throw on second down. He's going to tuck it and go. Jones into the slide, protects himself, and picks up the first down. It's a first down and a gain of 13. We've seen this quarterback have some effective plays with his legs all game today, Mike. He knows when to stay in there and look to pass, but he also knows when it's time to tuck it and go, and he's able to pick up good yardage there. They'll try to set up the screen here, and he'll be brought down just shy of midfield. The screen works for 10 yards and a first down. It's been tough sledding for this offense all day today, Mike, but especially here in the second half. So they are just in desperate need of a spark, just something to get their offense into a little bit of a rhythm if they want to have any chance to find themselves back into this game here late. And the rush gets there. He'll be tracked down. You can tell the quarterback has built a lot of confidence in his ability to make plays today with his feet. The defense has had a hard time keeping him in check, and this time, much better job in pursuit. Even though he was able to get outside the pocket, they were able to chase him down and bring him down for a sack. Working from the gun, it's Jones. Open man is Robinson. Defense does a nice job here initially using zone coverage to take away the middle of the field. That's the most valuable real estate in football. 
quarterback gets off his first read, sees some openings to the sideline, and him and his receiver are able to connect. Third and long. Shotgun now for Jones. And that is incomplete. Nice job there by the defender. He's able to break up the pass, but I think if he's able to get there just a little bit sooner, now you can get two hands on the ball and give yourself a chance to come down with an even bigger play and come away with the pick. Now or never, they'll throw on fourth down. Now he'll air this one out deep for Hyatt. And he will be taken down, but there is a penalty flag down. A silly penalty may erase the turnover. Now a first and ten from the 38-yard line. From the gun, it's Jones. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. At this level, you just would expect a little bit better execution and accuracy on those intermediate throws. I think he had an opportunity there for a nice pickup. Off target, off rhythm, and ends up getting away from him. They'll try again here, second and 10. To throw is Jones. Looking to set up the screen there, but he decides not to force it, and it's incomplete. This has really been the story of this entire game, Mike. I mean, this pass rush has had the advantage over the offense pretty much from the jump, and they've already recorded a couple of sacks, a handful of close calls, and it's the pressure in the backfield is why this team finds themselves with the lead here late in this ballgame. Open man, right side, he's got it. 13 yards on that pass play. First down, Giants. These curl routes, he's been running these routes since he was a young kid in Pop Warner football, and I like to call it pulling the string. You've got the defender thinking you're going downfield and you stick that foot in the ground, work back to the quarterback, friendly to the ball, and really nice job picking up the first down. He's gonna be marked down at the 12-yard line. Give him 12 on that one. They are on the march, another first down. Again, it's Jones. That'll be caught by the running back, Singletary. Great example of first down efficiency. You don't always have to go for the big play, but put yourself in a friendly second down. Now you have equal opportunity to both run and pass. Now, second and four. Again, they'll throw with Jones. Under pressure, and now he's going to go down back at the eight-yard line. So two minutes left to play in the second half. We'll come back and finish this one off after this. Here's a big one, this third down. They'll drop to throw. That's hauled in at the two. He's in. Touchdown, New York. Now, Cano for the extra point. The kick here is good, so they are back within a possession. That gets it down to an eight-point game. The kickoff team is out on the field, and we're back to it as the kick's away. This taken at the five. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The visitors' offense ready to get back to work. They lead by a touchdown as this drive begins with first and ten. Now 
Now Elliott. And they'll be set up now. Up past the 40 with that one. And the Giants here will use the first of their timeouts. They'll be disappointed there after giving up the first down. Again, here's Zeke. And a short pickup, too. About the 42-yard line. Now a timeout. Giants, that is their second. And they'll get together prior to the second down play. They'll stick with Elliott. And he'll get maybe about four yards out of that one. The lane closed quickly. And here comes third down. ground it's Elliot the Cowboys get their special teams out on the field he's on to punt it for the fourth time tonight And no chance of a run back here. This one's going to sail out of bounds. So out comes the Chicago offense as they get set to take over once more. Here is first and ten. Now, Jones. That one, oh, it's on target, but it goes as an incompletion. Looks like he had that one in his grasp, but unable to hold on, and it will be second down. This is one of those situations that plays directly into the hands of the defense, because think, Mike, they know this offense has to be one-dimensional. This has to be a pass. So what do they do? They bring in extra defensive backs. They clog up the back end. Oh, the pressure too much. He goes down. Early in this drive, they're trying to establish some offensive rhythm, but now after that second down sack, really puts them in a must pass. You don't want to be in third and long very often in the NFL. It's not a very high percentage conversion rate, and with the danger of a three and out, they better hold up here in pass protection. On third and long, it's Jones. will get him down at the 35-yard line. It's a big play when they needed it the most. And even 50 yards. They really showed off their connection on that pitch and catch, Mike, and just really good ball placement and really good separation downfield. And when those two things align, it's just really challenging for a defender to stay with them and take that play away. And he'll be taken down, and that is going to do it. Oh, the comeback from short. Time runs out. And this game is over. So it's a win here for the visiting Cowboys. They're able to get the job done in front of a hostile crowd as they come away with the victory. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. With that, we say good night from New Jersey.